tonight's headlines, Duterte will never cooperate with ICC probe, says Palace. No government neglect in COVID response in Mindanao. Eliazar maintains cops not involved in EG case. Coronavirus cases in the country at 1,327,431. Remittances grow to pre-pandemic levels in April. Habaga to bring scattered rain showers. PSEI continues winning streak. And NEDA optimistic of economic recovery in second quarter. Good evening. Today is Tuesday, June 15, 2021. I am Elmer Navarro Manuel and this is Tribune News on Q. Here are the stories for this evening. Malacanang announced that President Rodrigo Duterte will never cooperate with any investigation that may be launched by the International Criminal Court regarding the killings blamed on his drug war. Palace spokesperson Harry Roque said that the president will not cooperate since the Philippines is no longer a member of the ICC when it withdrew from the Rome Statute, which established the ICC in March 2019. This comes after ICC prosecutor Fato Binsoda has requested judicial authorization from to proceed with the investigation on the Philippine government's drug war. According to Binsoda, there is a reasonable basis to believe that murder has been committed in the Philippines between July 1, 2016 and March 16, 2019 in the context of the drug war. The palace denied Tuesday the accusations of Deputy Speaker Rufus Rodriguez that the national government has neglected Mindanao amid the COVID-19 pandemic, saying the surge in COVID-19 cases there is not due to lack of government response. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque said that it was not true since they have not been under modified enhanced community and enhanced community quarantine and the compliance in minimum public health standards really decreased. Roque also said there has been an equitable distribution of COVID-19 vaccines across the country. Earlier, experts from the OCTA research have identified some cities in Mindanao as areas of concern due to the continuous spread of COVID-19, namely Cagayan de Oro, General Santos, Coronadal, Cotabato, and Davao City. The Philippine National Police Chief Police General Guillermo Eliazar maintained the allegation that police officers were involved in unlawful killings amid the government's war against illegal drugs was untrue. The PNP chief said that President Rodrigo Duterte has a marching order to do what is right and legal during anti-criminality operations, but the lives of police officers should also be protected. The PNP chief made a comment after International Criminal Court Prosecutor Fato Binsoda sought permission to investigate the killings in the Philippines which were being linked to the anti-illegal drugs campaign. Eliasar said that the PNP will seek guidance from the Department of the Interior and Local Government regarding the matter. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders. Montero Sport. Elevate your journey. Drive your ambition. Mitsubishi Motors. Pag 
bago ng mundo for all your pera transactions, all new Bayan. The Department of Health reported 5,389 confirmed coronavirus disease cases on Tuesday to bring the total number of infections in the country to 1,327,431, even as 16 laboratories failed to submit reports on time. This brought the active cases to 58,063 and of the total, 91.8% are mild, 3.8% are asymptomatic, 1.8% are severe, and 1.3% are in critical condition. The number of recoveries, on the other hand, rose to 1,246,405 after 6,660 recovered from deadly disease. The death toll is now at 22,963 following 118 fatalities recorded. Data from the DOH also showed that 59% of the country's intensive care unit beds are in use, while 37% of the mechanical ventilators are occupied. In other news, the Banco Central ng Pilipinas reported that remittances from overseas Filipinos posted a double-digit climb in April to hit a higher level than seen ev even before the COVID-19 pandemic. Central bank data showed that cash remittances or money transfers coursed through banks jumped 12.7% to $2.305 billion from $2.046 billion the same month last year. Cash remittances from land-based workers gained 15.2% to $1.779 billion, while those from sea-based workers increased by 4.9% to $574 million. Year-to-date cash remittances grew 4.8% to $9.989 billion from $9.448 billion, coming mainly from the United States, Malaysia, Singapore, and South Korea. State Weather Bureau Pagasa announced on Tuesday that the southwest monsoon or Habagat is expected to bring cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms over the Ilocos region. In its 24-hour forecast, the weather agency warned against possible flash floods or landslides due to moderate to at times heavy rains. Habagat and localized thunderstorms may also bring partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms over the rest of the country. Flash floods are also possible due to severe thunderstorms. We'll pause for a short break. Stay with us.
In business, a Philippine share prices extended their winning streak for the third consecutive trading day on Tuesday as the easing of quarantine restrictions buoyed market optimism. The local stock barometer gained 59.24 points or 0.86% to 6,976.73 at the closing bell. The broader all shares index climbed 31 points. 75% to 4,222.88. A trader noted that the local index was lifted by heavyweights, mostly consumer stocks such as SN Investments Corporation, SM Prime Holdings Incorporation, or Incorporated, and JG Summit Holdings Incorporated. More than 5.128 billion shares valued at 8.033 billion pesos change hands. Advancers trumped decliners 106 to 101 and 59 issues were unchanged. And the National Economic Develop and Development Authority said that economic recovery is expected in the second quarter as restrictions have been mostly eased versus the same period last year. Socioeconomic Planning Secretary Carl Kendrick Chua economy will recover in the April to June period on the back of higher mobility. The Philippine economy contracted by 16.9% in the second quarter of 2020, its worst quarterly performance based on available data since 1981. Moving forward, economic managers maintain their growth target of 6 to 7% this year and 7 to 9% in 2022 as more sectors recover from the lockdowns brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. That wraps up the stories tonight. Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis, and in line with this, the Daily Tribune Digital Edition and Press Reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store or Google Play to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its community Viber Katribu to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. Carcito emoticons are also available on our community Viber. Just visit the sticker store and search for Katribu. And before we go, we would like to thank the SM Store and the Araneta City for their continued support. Again, this is Elmer Navarro Manuel and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good night, and God bless us all. Never thought self-service can be this slick Modify plans in a snap Walang hirap is a wrap Just tap the app Now you can check, view, subscribe, renew Help and support for you Out with the ring ring apps or the in thing You know what to do Globe at home and Globe One All in the Globe app na yan Self-service and easy to use Mas okay tayo dyan Globe at home and Globe One All in the Globe app na yan Instant response, no hold time pop Wala nang hintayan Download Globe at Home and Globe One app All in the Globe app na yan Download the Globe One and Globe at Home apps From Google Play Store and Apple App Store now Download Globe at Home and Globe One app All in the Globe app na yan
something big. The all-new Honda City Hatchback with four seating modes. Utility mode, long mode, tall mode, refresh mode. The all-new City Hatchback. Hatch more life.